video 42402 reproduction and we'll talk about female reproductive anatomy first or next. So we'll start where we started in the male and that is at the organs that make the cell. So in the ovaries, which are paired organs also, stay up in the body. Uh, incidentally, um, interestingly, uh, when you, if you have, if you're exposed to a lot of testosterone in the uterus because you have a Y chromosome that makes you make it, these structures descend and become testes. If you don't produce a lot of testosterone, those structures stay up in the body and become ovaries. So your, the testes and the ovaries are really from the same tissues. Uh, just they're kind of directed to do different things. So the ovaries make uh, ova. Ova are eggs or ovum is an egg. Uh, and they make those uh, cells with uh, that same process that Sperm cells were made, and that is a combination of uh, meiosis and mitosis called oogenesis, which we'll get to later. Uh, so they develop in these little structures called follicles inside of the ovaries. The follicles get bigger and bigger and bigger uh, over the course of 28 days until they uh, rupture and the oocyte comes out. And then that structure, that follicle turns into a corpus luteum, which continues to make uh, estrogen. And here's where these hormones are made. Uh, the oviducts is what I tend to call them. Uh, same thing as fallopian tube or uterine tube. Uh, I like oviduct egg, egg duct, but whatever. These tubes right here kind of capture that oocyte when it gets released and they'll wave it along. They've got smooth muscle and they've got cilia. So they'll push that little oocyte along. So somewhere in here in this tube is where if you're going to want to get pregnant, this is where you want to have the egg fertilized. You want to have it fertilized up in here somewhere so that it can warn the uterus basically that it's coming uh, through the production of a hormone. Oh, there's that. Thanks, Arlington teacher. All right. Um, should have turned off that notification. Blah, blah, blah. Where am I? Train of thought. Okay. Um, ooh, there we are. So they're moving these little guys along. You like this to be the site of fertilization so that you can warn the uterus to get ready for the embryo that's coming down the tube. Uh, moving on to the uterus. It's a large sort of muscular sac. It's got several layers here. It's got a perimetrium on the outside. Myometrium, which is the muscle, the smooth muscle layer. Uh, if you experience uh, menstrual cramps, that is because the myometrium is contracting, trying to get rid of the endometrium, which is that inner lining. So you do that every month, right? If you're a female, you're gonna you're gonna build up the middle, the endometrium, and then if you don't get pregnant, you're gonna shed the endometrium. And the endometrium is that inner layer. This is where the embryo interfaces with the mother. Uh, and it's the same thing that's shed during menstruation. Mm -mm -mm. All right, cervix is at the bottom of the uterus. So it's down here, and this whole structure here is called the cervix, right? And it's kind of another, it's like a sphincter. It's gonna be like a, a real strong uh, muscular uh, uh, circle that is there as a bottleneck. It, it's there to keep the the fetus in there, right? The, that fetus is upside down and gravity is pulling downward, so uh, you need a strong little uh, entrance or exit. That cervix, that cervical canal, uh, empties into the vagina, which is inferior to it, uh, below it, right? So the vagina is actually an internal structure. A lot of times, uh, it's kind of a, a miss, what's the word, misnomer that to call the external genitalia of a female her vagina. The vagina is inside. The external genitalia are, are called just that, either external genitalia or uh, colloquially vulva. So either way, the stuff on the outside is not your vagina. The stuff on the outside is this mounds pubis, which means pubic mountain, little sort of a, a bulge, I guess. Uh, and then two sets of labia. Labia means lip, lips. So big lips and small lips. And those serve a protective and uh, sensory function. And they are homologous, the labia majora anyway, are homologous to the scrotum. So the same tissue in an embryo or a uh, fetus that becomes the labia majora, if you become a male, becomes your scrotum. Another homologous structure between males and females is the clitoris. The clitoris is homologous to 
the penis of a male and it is sensory. It doesn't serve as a urogenital opening. It's strictly uh, for sex and uh, sensory and function. The females, females have a urethral opening that's separate from the, the, uh, the genital opening. And that's video four.